Welcome to my third jewelry tutorial on YouTube and thanks for staying tuned. Today I'm doing an impromptu necklace on a cord. So I'm going to show you how to make everything and I am using the same tools as I normally would use. The uh, needle nose or chain nose pliers, the flat nose pliers, the round nose pliers, and snips. I'm also using 11 jump rings. Those are the three millimeter jump rings, I believe. And four feather metal beads. Lobster clasp with the other end. Some 20 gauge silver wire and some, I think it's 28 gauge silver wire. Whatever goes through your stone for the center, if it's already drilled, this is what goes through mine, it's 28 gauge and um, a piece of leather board, and I just measured this to my neck. So first, I'm going to thread through my silver wire, the 28 gauge that goes through my central bead. I'm gonna move all the rest of this stuff off to the side. I cut it even on both sides, about a foot extra silver wire, and that's just so, wrap the stone how I want to wrap it and I'm not sure I think I want to come straight in and then I want to twist that up so that it keeps it sturdy And use your round nose pliers if you want that loop to be perfectly round. Just gonna twist that with my fingers. And then I'm gonna come back down. Now they're both through the front side there. And you can just hold this with your flat nose pliers at that loop to get it flush. together the bottom there I'm going to Push it together with the flat nose pliers. I'm just gonna do that two or three times or however many times. I think it'll take to make that look nice. side now. Right in there. Okay. I'm going to push 
that down. chain nose or needle nose pliers are the best for pushing that in. So we're just gonna work that wire until it's in. And then once we get that done, we're gonna use our flat nose pliers and we're gonna twist Added on the outside in. We are going to use our round nose pliers to open our middle loop up. And then we're going to twist the top of our loop just to add a little more layer. and we're gonna open this. You can use two pairs of pliers if you like. We're gonna do towards and away from ourself. We're gonna put our new pendant on the jump ring, the loop that we've just made. On our pendant, on the jump ring. And we're gonna close our jump ring that more if you want. So to keep my center piece from moving like it does, I'm going to use a little bit more of my thin wire, 28 gauge wire. I'm going to use a little bit on each side. I'm going to cut off about uh, several inches.
just going to stabilize our pendant so it doesn't move around on this loop that we made for it. against whoever's wearing it. And we're going to keep going to around this side. We'll do our outside one first. That seemed easier on this side we just finished.
through at least twice. Okay, now we're ready to attach our beads to our cord. And you can put beads on your cord first if you'd like to have some space between the beads that you're adding. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually get another jump ring and start with 11 and I should start with 12. So I'm gonna add another jump ring to the center piece. Actually, add two more because I want it to be facing a certain way. So now we're going to make our feather beads and this is really simple. We're just going to take two jump rings for each feather bead. I'm going to put our feather beads on a jump ring or on one jump ring and another jump ring onto that. And we're going to do that for all four of them. Adding extra jump rings just adds a little more dangle to your jewelry. So that's always nice to have. So we're just gonna put all four of our feather beads onto two jump rings basically. And those are ready. So now we have our beads. Now, since we're in jump ring mode, we're gonna go ahead and put our jump rings on our clasp. One on each end of the clasp. Um, some clasps do come with jump rings already, but these did not, so I'm going to put a jump ring on each end of my clasp. Now we're ready to finish off our cord. So I have my cord and I have my 20 gauge wire. And I'm just gonna start at the end. So we're gonna take our cord and we're gonna start our wrap oh, just a little ways from the end. Use it right off the spool. Excess. 
So I did decide to add some beads and I have some square black wooden beads that will match this perfectly. So then you'll decide how many you want. As you can see, I just added a small feather bead, two square beads, large feather bead, three square beads, my center pendant, three square beads, large feather bead, two square beads, small feather bead. And then I'm going to remake the other end as I told you you would have to do. You just need a couple of inches of the 20 gauge wire. I'm just going to wrap that around the end until I get to the end of the cord. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more YouTube jewelry tutorials.